Hi. So, you know, it's been a while, sorry, for the two of you who have been waiting bated breath. Um, been sick. Government tried to kill me. Wife left me. And my three kids keep me busy, so I'm sorry. Um, can I zoom out a little better? Alright, this is a Milwaukee grinder from a family friend who wanted me to take a look at it, see if I could fix it. Um, put it apart, obviously. Look, well, at first I ch checked, there was no continuity between the live and neutral, so. Look, of course, not really fused, it's just straight into the switch, but to be expected. Anyways, you can see right there's where we have our problem. So one of the two contacts from switch, obviously, the, I don't know, it kind of looks like, sorry, auto crap. Um, anyways, it looks like that may have broken loose and wiggle, 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 kind of made it arc back and forth and I don't know. It, no, you would think it would have uh, been making some kind of connection there, but of course I was getting open on there. I mean, when I had the switch closed, it was open, not just, duh, obviously. I know one of you dickheads was thinking that and was going to say shit in the comments, so I'm not that retarded. Not quite. Anyways, um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to fix that up by... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, because it's not just that it goes up to that. So, I mean, I could put a jumper from there to there. But, um, yeah, I don't know. What the hell is... Huh, okay. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, the other side is just making that one contact there. That bus bar is going back, so it doesn't even connect to that. What do I need to connect to then? I guess I just need to connect to that, and it should should work. Um, I guess let's test that theory. How are we going to test that? Safely, mind you. Sorry. There we go. Perfect. I think that thing's ready for 30 volts. Close enough. I've got... Isolated power supply. That's gonna wanna. Um, nope. Still. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Works. So that's part of the problem, though, is it's not. And that thing's. It's just dicking off, and that's why it's not making the contact to be able to go up oh, there. Turn that off and turn that off. I have a uh, strip underneath the desk right here that's up against it. So I gotta have. Oh, oh, there it is. I have that plugged into that isolation transformer. And yeah, so I got a few redundancies in there. Alright, well, uh, fuck. I guess I'm just gonna solder it. Cause that... That's pretty... 
wiggle, 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 yeah. So I wonder if just over time, the top clamp of that, because that's connecting the one up there, that's going back in, that's connecting that, going to the coil back in there. So, yeah, just like this bottom clip's getting a little wonky and sketchy. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I wonder why they didn't just, I don't know, rigidly connect that. Uh, replaceability, I guess. Some compliance, because I, no, I mean, they got the string cable there. I don't know. Just whatever. I'm going to do the damn thing real quick. All right. I haven't done it yet. I'm let my iron warm up. I got one of those big clicky gun bastards, but I don't want to use that. I got my Faco 852D Plus over here. Soliding Hot Air Station. Yes, S-O-L-E-D-I-N-G. I've mentioned that many times, but I'm just going to use it cranked up to like 480 or something. Hopefully that's enough to get her done real well. I suppose I should probably put some flux on that. I did clean it with a wire brush a little bit, but I don't know if that's going to help with the shit. This might not take it all. I mean, it's copper, brass, whatever. I, it's copper. But, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Here it goes. Well, some of it's taking. Yeah, that's pretty ugly. I don't know if I'm going to trust that to do the business. No, it did none of the business. Let me prep that a little better. Alright, I think I got that a little bit better. I took the switch out. God, where did it go? Dirt to door. Mm, that's kind of gross. Polish up this turd. And I said, you're saying, whoa, there's no point. It's just getting dirty again. Uh, it's probably true. But, you never know. I might find something else wrong digging in all this dirt. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. That's terrible. Anyway, I'll get back to you after I solder it. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but. I'm going to put a bit of hot glue right there to hold this in a decent spot while I solder it up. I know they probably had this in these shitty clips for a reason. I'm sure it's helped with some of the vibration and whatnot. But when one's already broken, this one's loose as a goose now. I'm... I don't know, I think soldering's the best bet for right now because the solder can get removed and this looks like a replaceable part. This is obviously a replaceable part because it has that little clip right there that you pinch and it'll just slide freely out. Um, so, so yeah, all of these are meant to be repaired. In fact, the good old, good old bar is there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Probably a bad idea, but it is hot glue. I mean, I'll probably take it out before returning it, or once I'm done soldering it, just so it doesn't, like, melt to hell whenever I give it back and he's putting the thing to work. So, another pause. Are you tired of waiting on your hot glue gun to warm up? Warm it up faster with solder iron. I was going to just bring it up after I was done soldering, but I'll let you guys watch this fail too. Um, got the hot snot there. 
at the hot slot gun doing a double duty today. Put a drip of that there, dip of that there. Assuming I can get that far. Let's use that smelly, nasty shit. And put a bit of that on there because I left it hot like an idiot. Alright, let's give her hell. pretty sketchy there. Let me do the other one. I'll go back and get that again. Okay, I was like, God damn it, did I not get that? But now I forgot this actually has some wiggle in there because at one time that was tight, but I'm getting hot so many times it's not so much. Now this one I'm going to heat from the top and I'm going to try to sneak in some solder in between those. I mean this one I really don't care as much about. And I don't think he really cares so much about it either. I think he said he has another one. Also give me a Ryobi battery charger. And it had a offline switcher the shit the bed on it. Just got a new one of those ordered, so we'll be fixing that eventually. Should put some on the bottom too. Yeah, why not? Stuff it in there where it's got room, right? Beautiful. I kind of like that to go up top a little bit, not just hug the side of it. Yeah, 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 come on. You can do it. You can do it. I'll take it. That's good. That one's good. Happy with that one. Sorry, terrible focus. I'd say that's pretty good, but I'm going to try to clean that up a little bit. Although I'm pretty confident that the solder flowed underneath. Because I took the switch out and got it in there real good with a grinder. And then cleaned the top bit with a... Or not a grinder, Jesus Christ. Uh, file. God, retarded. So, I don't know. Let's... Just because. Sorry about the fan. I'm into that ASMR stuff. Just kidding. Now I'm into uh, not breathing solder and not sweating like a whore in church. Because I do. Oh, sorry about my uh, little bit of list that I got going on. Real surgery. That's shitty. Got all my teeth ripped out. Every last one. 12 years of being a junkie will mess up your grill. Having kids will make you want to fix it. So yeah, implants. Got the studs in, waiting for jawbone to heal. And then, uh, if I'm still alive in November, we'll be getting the arches on.
Oh, mother trucker. There we go, that'll get it. Wonder what they have for that. Cause that little spot right there where it's not taken is actually um, raised up. And it looks like it was a contact of some kind, so it would actually make a decent contact with the top and the bottom. So I wonder if that's like tungsten, silver, or something like that, because I think that has enough tungsten in it to where it won't take. As far as uh, soldering goes, it's got to be brazed onto a uh, plate whenever they put it on, I think. They could be way off. I could be talking out of my ass on that one. I don't remember. Alright, let's, sorry, I need to make this so not right up in my face, or in my front arms. Alright, well, okay, there we go, it's not moving. Alright, let's turn it on, oh, let's take, and get that out of here, and let's put this into this and yes yes like I bought one see you later